So in this video, I'm gonna break down for you exactly how fat loss works, how fat cells works, and how the hormone leptin affects fat loss. So first, if we think about things, so we have, um, we're in a calorie deficit, we're in a fat loss phase. So we have our fat cell here. So what happens, uh, this is at the beginning of this diet, so we put start here. As we get it within a diet, the fat cell size uh, will start to shrink. So this is the start, and then if we say, like after six weeks, we have a smaller fat cell. So we don't lose fat cells, fat cells shrink. Now, what happens when these fat cells shrink? Fat cells release hormones, which a lot of people don't realize. So fat cells secrete the hormone leptin. When fat cells get smaller, the hormone leptin, which has one of the huge driving um, hormones in terms of uh, fat loss, the, uh, the amount of leptin getting released reduces which means that when leptin is getting re reduced within the body, what is called our BMR, which is our basal metabolic rate. Now our basal metabolic rate is basically how many calories our burn, body burns at rest, reduces. So the, because leptin is reducing, because the fat cell size is shrinking because we're losing weight, our BMR reduces, which is our basal metabolic rate. But wait, furthermore, it gets worse. Because BMR uh, is reducing and leptin is reducing, guess what also happens? Our hunger levels go up. So this is actually a sign that fat loss is starting to work if you're starting to get hungry, because it means your fat cells are shrinking, leptin's reducing, your BMR's slowing, and your hunger levels are coming up because leptin's reducing. So if you're getting hungry on a fat loss diet, this is a good sign, it shows you're actually making progress. So you just need to adhere to it and understand this process. Now, what's really important with this is understanding why do these mechanics happen? So from the fat cell shrinking, leptin reducing, BMI reducing, hunger increasing, this is because of one thing, and it's called uh, body set point theory. So body set point theory is essentially where our body wants to go back to where it was before. So our body wants our fat cells to come back to here. It does not want to stay where we are. Now after six weeks of dieting, it certainly does not want to get any leaner. So what our body is trying to do is it's trying to push ourselves back to what's called homeostasis where we are before. So what we need to do to offset body set point theory is essentially to keep pushing. Because what happens, we can then create a new set point, which is why it's important when you lose weight, you need to maintain that weight for, weight for a period of time and be very delicate in terms of a reverse dieting period and make sure you do that correctly. This is one of the big things we really work with clients on because there's some really shocking statistics when it comes to fat loss and the success of diets. So I'm gonna break it down for you like this. If you were to have a guess at how many people are successful at maintaining weight uh, they've lost after the first year, so the successful dieters, the amount of percentage of people who actually lost that weight and kept it off the first year, 70% of people regain the weight after one year of dieting. But wait, it gets worse. After three years, how many people do you think, how many, what percentage of people do you reckon keep the weight off? Comment below. Da, 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 da. That means it's actually 95% of people regain the weight plus more after losing the weight, which means actually only 5% of diets are successful, which is quite a shocking statistic that after three years of dieting, only 5% of people are successful. And the reason for this is people don't understand this process firstly, and they also don't understand that your body's trying to get back to the set point. And what you need to do is you need to reverse diet and be very careful in terms of uh, optimizing your body's hormonal metabolic functions to make sure you don't balloon weight up again. Now, one of the worst things about this and when people go up and down in weight is that every time you go up and down in weight, as your fat cells regain weight, they will actually get bigger and you'll get fatter. And that actually means that each time you're having to try and lose weight, it makes it more difficult for you to actually lose weight because the fat cells are increasing in, each, in size each time they go up and down. So this is my one plea to you is to make sure that don't be afraid of fat loss by me explaining this, but make sure you do it in a sustainable manner that actually works for you and be aware of the mechanisms that work to it. So yes, calorie deficit is the key that drives all of this, but this is the fundamental science behind it that really breaks it down. Now, if you need help with this, comment below any questions and you can also hit the link below this video to book in your free strategy call with myself and the CJ coaching team where we can discuss exactly where you are right now, where you want to go and exactly how we can help you and how we can make sure that you're part of the 5% of successful dieters by becoming one of our clients. If you have any further questions, comment below, smash the like and check out one of the other videos on the screen and hit subscribe to get more educational content from us.